Okay, so in this uh, module, I'll be explaining about the Cisco three routers uh, IPv6 configuration. Here, I'm launching this uh, packet tracer. Uh, first of all, I will add three routers, and then uh, I can configure this uh, v6 on all the networks, and then we will also learn about the static routing. For our uh, experiment, we will be choosing this uh, 2811 routers. Okay, this is uh, one location. We take routers as uh, locations, second location, and this is the third location. So here I am selecting a switch. You can select a 2950 switch. Two, three. Okay, end device also. I will be selecting either a desktop or maybe a laptop or any other devices. So just select the cables, copper straight. Two. This can be like this. Same, same thing. To so have more systems, you can connect to the switch. So here I am using FA zero by zero to the router. The last FH0 by 24, I'm connecting to this one. Okay, now this is done. In order to connect YDRA network interface, what you need to do is just switch off the router, okay, add a big of 2T. Just add to this particular one and power on and power on. So now you have once you powered on, you have fast Ethernet 0 by 0, serial 0 by 0 by 0 also has come. Please do the same thing for this particular one also. So switch off and then add this with 2, this one most and switch on. So let it boot. Meanwhile, switch off. Don't use, uh, don't drag while it is powered on. Don't uh, accept. Okay. So now I am using a uh, cross cable serial is E two connect zero 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 two zero 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 and the one with clock you can take the other one is left from here to here. So interfaces means it will display all the interfaces which are there. First we will configure I mean fast Ethernet zero. So interface fast Ethernet zero by zero we need to enable first IPv6 unicast routing. Okay, interface FA0 zero by zero. Okay, IPv6 address FC00 zero zero, column column 10 column 1 slash 112. Okay, no shot. Now you can see the green light glowing. Done. So if you want, you can uh, configure the other one. Interface serial 0 by 0 by 0 and now IPv6 address 1 and FC00 column column 20 column 1 slash 112 no shut. Okay. Since the other side needs to be enabled, then only this green line will come. So this router is done. I can say write memory. Okay. I'll go to the console of router B. CLI. No. Again. Comfy. Basic configuration. Post name. Router B. Enable secret. Stop. I can use 6. Very fast routing. Enable that. So interface. FA0 by 0, IPv6 address, FC00 column column, 30 column 1, 30 column 1 slash 112, no shut. So hopefully, yes, this has turned to green. Okay, so now exit interface, FC0. 0 by 0 by 0 
IPv6 address at C00 column column 20 column 2 slash 112. I'm configuring the IP of this particular interface. Okay. No shut. You can see this one, this should turn to green. Yes. Okay. So now we will configure the other side of the interface. This one. This particular one. C0 by 0 by 1. Interface serial 0 by 0 by 1. Okay. IPv6 address FC00 column column 40 column 1 slash 112. No shut. Write memory. So my router P is also done. So similarly, I will configure this router C. No. Okay. Again, RT. So post name or router C. Enable secret. Please do enable this one. This is the only way where you can keep your router secure. So IPv6 unicast interface FA0 by 0. IPv6 address FC00 column column 50 column 1 dash 112. So now if I this one will be enabled now. No shut. Okay, so start to agree. So exit interface okay. serial 0 by 0 by 0. IPv6 address fc00 column column 40 column 2 slash 112 i'm configuring the interface of this particular one no shut so since we have selected the cable dc with clock it is automatically shut otherwise you need to define the clock so now you have configured the three routers with the basic ip addresses let me take up a desktop with a command prompt so here what i'm going to do is ping ping fc00 column column i mean 10 column 1 i'm trying to ping to my gateway yes it's happening similarly if i try to i mean 30 column 1 destination is not reachable i mean the networks are set but there is no route we will learn how to write a route see in, in my previous lab we have learned about how to configure three routers using version 6 of IP addressing. In this lab, we will try to establish a route between the networks of router A, router B, router C. These are various locations. If you understand three locations, you can even configure 30 locations or 50 locations. So please understand the first route which we are going to learn is static route. So in static route, there are five networks here, three local area networks, two, I mean, wide area networks. The router A understands this uh, FC00, 10 column 0 network and 20 column 0. It doesn't know 30, 40, 50. Similarly, in router B, 20, 30, 40 are known. 10 and 50 are not known. In router C, 40 and 50 are known. These are called as 10, 20 and 30 are unknown networks. So, in static route, once if you define the unknown routes to the respective routers, then it becomes a known. So in this way, the system can communicate with other systems also. So here, as defined by me, here, when it, when you see this ping to the local system, it is able to ping FC00. And if you see this FC00 column, 30 column 1, unreachable. So just quickly log on to router A. Conf-T, IPv6 routing. Unicast routing, sorry. Unicast routing. So here, write a route. How to write a static route? So IPv6 route. IPv6 route. FC00 colon colon. 30 colon 0. Unknown routes. 30 colon 0. Slash 112. Using the gateway. Using the gateway of router B. This is the exit point. 
So this is the node network. This is the gateway of this one. Next hop IP. Okay. So that will be FC00 colon colon 20 colon. How do you reach the route? 20 colon 2. Okay. Same thing for 40 route also. And same thing 50 colon also. Okay. So in this way, we have these uh, three routes configured in router A. Now let us configure this router B. You can test even uh, exit. Please try, try to save this one. Try to see this. So I do V6 route. So here you can see S for static route 30, 40, 50 is different. S for static, C for connect. Same thing we will configure for this one also. Copy, I mean IPv6 unicast route. Once again, let me write IPv6 route FC00 colon colon 10 colon 0 slash 112 is the unknown network for router B and write. Okay, IPv6 route FC00 colon colon. I mean, the other one is 50 column 0 slash 112 FC 00 column column. See the diagram. It should be the other side 40 column 2. This is 40 column 2 IP. 40 column 2. Yes, this is done. Now, let's see. Right, memory. Show IPv6 router. So this direction, this one to see more. Yeah, let's see this. As for static routes, the two routes has appeared. Now let me go with router six, uh, router C. Here we have three unknown routes which needs to be configured. Okay, I will use six. We will cast routing. Route FC00 colon colon 10 colon 0 slash 112 FC00 colon colon what is the exit interface 40 colon 1 this is 40 colon 2 the other one is 40 the gateway of this router is 40 colon 1 please define this this needs to be accurately defined same thing for 20 network and 30 network Exit. All right. Anyway. So the same thing. Static routes are now configured. Now let us do a final test from here. Okay. Take a desktop. Go for the command prompt. Now you can test this particular one. So ping double column. It is pinging locally. So now let me try for a remote system. Maybe a ten column one, which is the system in it. Uh, yes, it's pinging. So now the static route is established. All networks are able to communicate each other, the systems also, 30 column 2 and of course the other one. Okay, so this is how we can make use of a static route. So before closing, you don't save on the same uh, copy, save it on a different one, which is 3v6 uh, static route. Otherwise, it will be difficult for us to reload once again. Okay, thank you.